Hello there, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, I'm going to discuss the formation of old mountains. These type of mountains are actually some of the highest mountains in the world, and Mount Everest itself is just one of the peaks of the Himalayas, which are fold mountains. If you have not subscribed the channel, kindly remember to click the subscribe button for more videos. Fold mountains are actually formed due to movement of tectonic blades towards each other. The first case is when we have an oceanic crust moving towards a continental crust. The point of collision forms a convergent boundary and what happens here is that the oceanic crust will sink beneath the continental crusts simply because the oceanic crust is made up of denser rocks. Then the continental crust is expected to be compressed to form the fault mountain. This is what actually happens. You are seeing that the oceanic crust is sinking into the mantle and then the continental crust is compressed to form the fold mountains. This region where we have the subsidence is called a subduction zone and it is marked by an oceanic trench as the oceanic crust sinks beneath the continental crust. This continental crust is being compressed and it is forming fold mountains. The other case is where we have the continental crust and another continental crust moving towards each other. When they move towards each other, they form again a convergent boundary. The point at which they meet, those are tectonic boundaries which are actually destructive, which means that those are one earthquake prone zones. They can trigger the development of earthquakes. And what happens when these two continental crusts meet, the rocks of the continents are compressed to form fold mountains. This is actually what happens. A continental crust meeting another continental crust and we have compression at the point at which they meet. This is leading to formation of fold mountains. Let's see some cases where these took place. The first case, is in South America where we had formation of the Andes mountains, which are fold mountains. How did they form? We had the Nazca plate, which is an oceanic plate, moving towards the South American plate, which is a continental plate, and we had formation of the Andes on the continental plate. Here is a case where we had a continental plate moving towards another continental plate. The African plate moving towards the Eurasian plate led to formation of the Atlas Mountains in Africa and the Alpine ranges or the Alps in Europe, leading to formation of fold mountains at both ends. And that is how fold mountains are formed and they are one of the highest features or mountains in the world. If you have not subscribed to the channel, kindly remember to do so. Thank you for watching.